Today's video is all about how to lower attacks on your system when you are editing inside Premiere Pro. It doesn't matter if you have an older PC or a laptop, you will be able to edit 4K raw footage on your system. Let's see how it's done. But before we begin, please remember to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. You can also check our blog for the written version of this video where we have also added some extra points there. The links are as always down in the description. First thing you gotta do is to set your media cache on your SSD. If you do not have an SSD, you can set it on your fastest hard drive and then go and buy an SSD. I mean, what do you do in 2020 without an SSD? Clearing your cache files is also a good solution. If you are not going to work on your project anytime soon, it is a good practice to clear the cache on that project. RAM is an important component of your system that has direct effect on the speed of your system and your applications. You can either check Activity Monitor on Mac systems or Task Manager on Windows to make sure what application is using how much RAM at any given moment. Then, when you are inside Premiere and editing, you can close other applications that are using too much RAM and free up some space for Premiere Pro. The effects button is not present in Premiere Pro workflow by default, but you can add it from here. What the effects button does is that it will temporarily disable all the effects in your timeline in order to lighten it up. The way you work with this button is that you will go to it, press it to temporarily disable all the effects in your timeline and then move around in the timeline to make the changes you want. And when you are finished, you will go back to the button, click it again and now all the effects are re-enabled. Using Proxies can do wonders and to my eyes it is the best option if you are working on a low-end PC. The way Proxies work is that they will transcode your footage no matter 4K, 8K, 10 bits, anything. Proxies will transcode your footage into another codec at a lower bitrate and resolution in order to light it up for working inside Premiere Pro. Adobe Media Encoder is by far my go-to software for transcoding and exporting After Effects and Premiere projects. Media Encoder works as a complementary software that will transcode the original footage. To get the best out of this software, make sure that all of the software and your codecs are up to date. You can either choose MP4 or MOV. Just be careful when deciding on the resolution, it should be similar to the aspect ratio of the original footage. In the destination tab, there exists an amazing feature that will transcode both original and transcoded footage next to each other and then you will have the option to set the destination for your end product. The end result may not be that different but that is beside the point. The footage is for review purposes and in this form making decisions is much easier. Media Encoder will arrange all of your footage and automatically encode and sync them with Premiere. You can see the original and transcode footage here side by side. After finishing this stage we will add toggle proxies to our workspace. Activating this tool will transform our files into transcoded ones and deactivating it will roll them back to their original form. 